Well, hello everybody. In this video series, I'm going to go over how I implement a scripting language inside of C++. Um, with this scripting language, I can do a number of things. I can evaluate expressions, evaluate strings, write functions, and call them um, in series with my programs. So, for example, if I wanted to, when I'm writing a f uh, program, I can call my script to do certain things um, instead of having to hard code it into my C++ application. Um, anyways, let's get into um, the actual um, demonstration of what my scripting language can do. The, the parser is used to compile um, the expression into bytecode. So the parser converts expressions like this, determines their meaning, and um, writes the equivalent instructions for my script and the script over here holds the actual um, set of instructions to be executed later. So here I'm calling uh, my expression to be evaluated and I'm basically saying um, the parser I want you to evaluate this expression and store the instructions into the script uh, instance over here um, so it's going to say y is equal to x squared plus 4 plus 32. You would expect this um, expression here to be evaluated first, or this one can be evaluated first as well, but it just it just so happens that this will be executed first, followed by here, and then the two results will be added together and finally assigned to y. So if I go ahead and uh, run this program, I can demonstrate what's going on. So this is kind of um, the process that it's going through, and it's a recursive call to make to to, um, ex to compile all this code into instructions. So we're going to come over here and extract these two content, the content of this parentheses, evaluate them, recursive call, and then replace the value that was evaluated with RST. RC is basically a placeholder that I've defined. It's a convention that I've defined to kind of um, make the understanding of this process simpler for myself. It's going to evaluate these three tokens and after it's done evaluating them, RST is going to stand in place of this. And then finally the two results are added together and assigned to the variable Y. So um, in terms of bytecode, so 4 plus 32, we push the two values together and we um, add them. And then next we do x and 2 and do an exponent of those two variables. And then we add everything to together and finally store the value in y. I haven't written the execution parts of my script. I still just have the compilation process. Um, next, we'll be implementing the execution component of our script. But real quick, I want to demonstrate that I can also write functions for my script by saying function equation. And let's say we're going to take the variable take a variable um, x and then we're going to say compile then we're going to return and as you can see I do some typos compile again still problems All right. okay finally uh, let's run it. So now what it does is it says, okay, we're defining a function called equation and we're doing argument check. This is what this stands for, argument check for one. So when this function is being executed, which I have not implemented yet, it'll check what I will implement as the stack. It'll check the stack to make sure the stack has at least a one value uh, on the stack, otherwise it's going to 
tell the user, hey, there's a problem. And so that's what this does. And then at the end of the function, um, there's a return operation, and this returns to whatever called this function. So that's what's kind of going on. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be a video series, um, and I'm going to go from com uh, compiling my bytecode to actually executing my bytecode. And so yeah, please leave a comment below and subscribe and rate this video. That really helps me out. Thank you. Until next time.